Less than four weeks now before the midterm elections, the courts took action last night against voter ID laws in two states, Texas and Wisconsin. Chip Reed's looking into that. Wisconsin's law requiring that voters provide ID has been on the books for three years but has not been enforced because critics have successfully argued in court that it discriminates against minority voters. But last month, a federal appeals court rejected that argument and gave the law a green light. Now, in a new twist, the U.S. Supreme Court has put Wisconsin's law on hold. The court did not give a reason for the decision, but Republican Governor Scott Walker predicted today it will eventually be upheld. It makes it easy to vote in the state, but hard to cheat. And we still think protecting the integrity of each and every vote is incredibly important. Texas's controversial voter ID law was not just put on hold, it was struck down by federal judge Nelva Gonzalez Ramos. She found that more than 600,000 registered voters do not have the kind of ID required by the law and that it primarily affects poor people, who the legislature knew were disproportionately African American and Latino. Sherilyn Eiffel is president of the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, which played a key role in the Texas case. Your view is that this idea of widespread voter fraud is a myth. I think this lays bare uh, this myth about what voter ID is really premised on. It's premised on a disenfranchisement scheme and not on protecting the ballot. The Office of Texas Republican Attorney General Greg Abbott said it will immediately appeal the decision. Abbott is a strong supporter of the law, Scott, and is leading in the polls to be elected the next governor of Texas in November. Chip Reed in our Washington newsroom tonight. Chip, thanks very much.